my voice. My voice, written and illustrated by Jose Fragoso for Olivia, my princess, Layla. Since I was born, I, I have had a voice. In the beginning, my voice was bigger than me. I learned to use it little by little, but I could not say anything. My voice was controlling me until I learned to control it. This allowed me to start communicating and to ask for things. I learned to whisper to tell secrets and to shout greetings from afar. I could move my lips as if I was talking, but still be silent. There are a ton of fun things that you can do with your voice. If you talk while plugging your nose, you are a duck. If you cover your mouth, you sound like a robot. You can sing like a rock star. You can make noise of a hundred galloping horses. You can lend your voice to a frog or to a unicorn. You can also tell incredible stories or count penguins until infinity. If you talk underwater, your voice Songs like bubbles. Some have a high pitched voice and others deep. Some talk very softly, others talk loudly. Some are born without being able to talk, but you can talk to them using sign language. One of the best things you can do with your voice is sing. You can use a microphone to make your voice louder. Try it and you will see. But most important, but the most important thing is that you express yourself to make the world better. This way, your voice will go very, very far and will be heard loudly. Have you realized how many things you can name with your voice? And remember, it is always better to say things well than poorly. Each one of us has a different voice and a lot of things to say. So remember, you have a voice to tell stories, to make others laugh, 
to say how you are feeling, to call your friends, to make animal noises, to blow a raspberry, to ask for a cookie, to say what you think, and to be who you are. You can be whoever and whatever you want to be if your voice is true. You are what you say with your voice. You are your voice. The end.